Hey everyone, Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Another unboxing. I'm going to start in reverse today. I'm feeding Murphy first. Got a handful of clams. Let's get to it. So he's a Mabu puffer fish, freshwater, in case it's your first video at the co-op. In true freshwater, not brackish or anything like that. And he's still just a baby, he's gonna get about 30 inches to three feet long. He's about 12 inches long at this point. And yes, all the clams you see, those are all clams he's eaten. He can swallow the clams whole, he can pass them. You missed one, buddy. Missed two, actually. Right down here. He likes looking at me almost as much. i got to back up or he won't eat. Right down here. Maybe he's already full. It's early in the morning. All right, well, I'll let you finish those two clams off camera. You don't have to eat in front of everyone. So now, now, let me get set up. We'll do the unboxing. Here we go, box number one of three. Got a little bit of sunlight today, so I'm doing it in the front of the store. Let's see how many people walk through the door and Get on camera here. He packs are warm, but sitting down in the bag, which is not optimal. All right, here we go. Small bags first, as always. Black ghost knife. Good size. His tail looks good. So, when you're looking at a ghost knife, you want him to have like the two black dots and white after that. Otherwise, usually they've lost part of their tail, which is pretty common. So, yeah, we'll set that one down. We'll keep moving on here. We've got some blue guppies, uh, the platinum blue guppies. And then these are females. We've got neon red dragons. These are probably males, yep. And I think we've got it so we've got some of the matching females on some of these frogs. Gross little bag. Ice flame guppies, females of those. So we've got a male somewhere in here. Is that what these? No, those are platinum blues before. Green lace guppies. Rainbow snakeskin guppies. Females, I think, right? Yep. And then here, we've got ember tetras. We've been buying excess of these we gotta grow them out a little bit. So coming in kind of small, at least smaller than the customers want. Got rummy nose tetras, they were on special. Look pretty good. Real common to get ick though, so definitely be watching closely. Stir by corridors, I think we brought in 25 total. We got 12 in this box. And I think the last thing in this bag, or box is Hasbrosis or Pygmies? Where are they? Yep, Hasbrosis. 25 Hasbrosis Cories. So I'm going to get these floating and then we'll move to box number two. Box number two. Shield your eyes. Oh, I got it. Ha ha! Beat it. That's the first. We've got. Ooh, the dwarf anchor catfish. Guys, are the coolest thing you'll never see again. And I say that because once you put them in your tank, they hide all the time. But they're a dwarf anchor catfish. Pretty fun. When you get to see them, that's the. You know, you buy them and hope you get to see them someday. Farlawala catfish. Just normals, not royals or anything like that. What do we got next? Autosynclus. 
We're doing all right. We look to be doing all right. Not like much poop at all in the bag. I mean, there's a tiny little bit, but I have a feeling these guys are really gonna want some food. Cooey loaches. Just assorted. Look pretty good. Up next, we have more stir by Corridoras. Hand those over to Robert so he can kind of get them with the other ones. And then. Oh, here we go. Pistagrama Egazizii Fire Reds. These guys all look good when they're in the tank. These are a real nice Episto. If you guys haven't seen it yet, they've just have been in the States for about 18 months now, I feel like. And, uh, you know, become commonplace where you can buy them for about 20 bucks or so. So, yeah, awesome. Set those down right here. We're going to start getting to room temp. And so it's nice, like in the store here, we have it, uh, you know, where it's 79 degrees. And so if stuff's sitting out, it's actually warming up. So it's really helpful, you know, to, that's why a good fish store, in my opinion, should be pretty warm. Not humid necessarily, but warm. Warm means it's safe for the fish. And, uh, you know, they can be sitting out in boxes and that type of thing. And, uh, yeah. Do me a favor. If you've watched to this point, you must be in, you know, have an opinion on this video. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you don't like it, thumbs down it. What this does is it helps me evaluate how much you guys like it, don't you like it, that type of thing. Uh, you can leave a comment, too. So if you like your thumbs down, you really hate it, let me know why. If you thumbs up it and you really loved a certain part of it, let me know why about that, too. Um, but it just helps. Quick little voting system. That's what it's actually there for. If you guys didn't know, it's a voting system. It's supposed to be for the people that are making the content. They can just see, are they liking it, aren't they liking it? Because just because you watched it, I can't know did you like it or not like it. I, you know, I can know, like, oh, did he watch the whole thing? After five seconds, he was gone, but let me know. Uh, so click that like or, or down vote button, and uh, yeah, we're getting back to it. So, keep going here. We've got German Blue Rams. Always keep these coming through the doors just so that uh, we always have some in the store, like we've got some right now. I'll take you guys over and show you real quick. Uh, they've been spawning up a storm. These guys are doing right here, German Blue Rams. And uh, you can see they've got a pit dug back there. They've got a pit dug right up here. And they've got a pit dug right here. And in the back. So every female has taken a corner. And so this is why a lot of people that really crank out Rams, they all agree you should kind of colony spawn them like this. And so you'll get, you know, one, two, three, four, all four spawns going at the same time. And if I was to rearrange the center here, we could get six or seven spawns going at the same time. And a lot of extra males are up here at the moment, but the females, you know, kind of stake out territory. And you can see, you know, they've got their breeding tube down, or she does, if I can zoom in. You know, she's ready to breed. And, uh, you know, most of them are. So you can see this female right here in the front also ready to breed. She's got those two guys right there, but she's ready to go. And uh, so yeah, we just, you know, I'm, I know we've got more in quarantine right now and this next batch is going into quarantine as well. We just brought out from uh, last week, the electric blue. So we've got electric blue rams in stock and then we've got gold somewhere as well. I just don't know where they are yet. I haven't tracked them down since I've been in the store, but yeah, let's get back to the box here. We've got up next, albino corridoras. All right, those are always a good seller, they're cheap. And then, rasbora espii, so a little, little pork chop rasbora. We've got one box to go, I'm gonna get these starting to float somewhere and we'll move on. Had to move into the quarantine room, too many customers coming in and these fish are never gonna get put away unless I unbox them. And this is exactly why everyone wants me to show them going into the tanks and want me to show uh, acclimating, they want to show all these things, but you guys don't realize that it already takes like a couple of hours to pull off the unboxing just because there's so many customers that want to interject, they want to be in the video, they want to, you know, do things like that. So that's kind of why it's like just this process. If they arrived in the middle of the night, you know, so if you watch some of my unboxings in the middle of the night, I generally show you that guy, that kind of stuff, right? Where I'm netting in those shrimp and that kind of stuff, but in the store, it'll never get done and we've got things we've got to get done, right? So. You know, the faster I can kind of film this, 
and uh, talk about it kind of here in private, then I can get out there and help the employees get to the customers. And meanwhile, we're acclimating and stuff like that. So it's kind of a multitasking process. So, but here we go, the last box. This one's gonna hit me in the eye, I know it. Nope, all right. So, go for a small bag here. Rainbow snakeskin guppies. Look pretty good. We've got the, the females to those, so those will be pairs. And then, the ice flame guppies. Pretty cool. I don't know if we got the females to those or not yet. I don't remember. You guys remember because you just watched the video. Large Congo Tetris. No joke, they're actually large this time. I bought them before when they're not this large, so that's good. I think we got 12 of those. Someone will snipe those soon. I'm sure they'll come in and go, whoa, big male Congo Tetris. I need them. And so this brings up another point. Um, what a lot of stores will do is they'll upcharge. So like those are clearly larger and rarer to get, right? And what a lot of stores will do, so I think I normally sell those at $10.99, they would jack up the price like $14.99. Someone's still gonna pay it, but I just don't believe in doing that. I believe in charging an appropriate amount based on what I paid. And uh, you know that's the reason why I guess you guys would pay a store owner. Um, we take all the risk, and if they come in too small like the Ember Tetras, we gotta grow them out, and then we make our profit, right? Um, but, I don't know, I guess it's just a moral thing. I don't feel like when it comes in extra, extra, extra good, I should really charge you guys a lot. And so that way I can honestly say like, well yeah, they're a little small, they're $10.99. Oh, these ones are extra big, they're $10.99. And that way I just charge the same price no matter what size that comes in. And it's fair to everyone, and it doesn't, you know, because then you get people wanting on the call list, like, only call me if they're extra, extra big. Only call me if they're extra good looking. And uh, we just want to do it where it's like, look, it is what it is. If you're lucky to come in on that day, that's good. If you're not, that's fine. And, uh, you know, keep it fair. Because we, we sell so much stuff, and, you know, a lot of times we can't get enough of the numbers and all those kinds of things. Odessa bars, we've got 24 of those. And then we've got... Yeah, there's the other half of the 24. Those are a great fish. These are super underrated in my opinion. Um, let's see what we got here. Some assorted angelfish. Looks like some decent marbles and silvers. And then we've got, ooh, I love these guys. These are the, the wood shrimp. Super cool and creepy. They got, they're kind of like bamboo shrimp, but way creepier. They got things that look like big talons. So they call them sometimes a vampire shrimp. Corydora trilinianus, the jewelry cory. It's like triple bags, so it's hard to see them. All right, we got one more bag left. Oh, what is it? What is it? Come on. All right. Pseudomonkey loaches or uh, dwarf chain loach. Those are cool. We get those in the quarantine as well. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll poke around a little bit more and show you guys some stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna show all this stuff because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to it. Maybe I'll just show you guys stuff right now. And that way I'm, I'm free from the video and I can just help my employees. But like uh, kind of an update on some of the shipments. We've got a bunch of lemon tetras you guys saw us import. At this point, you'll have seen that this import. I don't think you've seen it yet, but you will have. Um, and then we've got like a bunch of clown killies. They all did well. So yeah, there's a bunch of clown killies up there and uh, down there as well. So I'm noticing my water. So for sitting right here, you see how that water's rippling and that one's not? That's a little scary to me. Um, let's make sure that it's going. It is, okay. It is, it's just real still there, which is okay. So that's okay. Uh, there's some of the rams we just put in already. Um, you can kind of see here we leave different bags and stuff like that just while we're so that way because you could see how possibly if this bag wasn't here and all those fish were hiding behind that sponge maybe we put another bag of fish in there and then all of a sudden we put two groups of fish we don't want to put together that could be you know a bad thing um, so what else do we import we imported um, these guys which they're still struggling through these are all the high fin platies. We'll get them there. They just need more TLC. Uh, we also brought in uh, these red eye monk tetras. 
and then tons of zebra danios, a thousand of those, and then the pom pom crabs. Um, we're ready to start bringing those out actually. We're going to start bringing those out and uh, just a random guppy tank here to sort of keep all of our sort of guppies. And so let's see, what do we got down here? We have uh, silver tip tetras we imported and then rasbora pets we imported. So those are all the updates on those, still sitting in quarantine. Uh, kind of just another shipment, but yeah, it's, you know, you can see here, this is one of the big reasons why we try not to take in fish, because we quarantine everything, and people, like, there's not that many free quarantine space. We have to spend all morning freeing up space so that we can put more in, and if we take fish from people, it jams all those spots up. So that's why we have, like, kind of a catch-all tank. And you can see right in here at the moment, we've got stuff that normally we wouldn't have in the store, like silver dollars. And then we've got, like, this is a Odessa bar. Looks great, right? I just told you guys that Odessa barbs look amazing. That fish looks amazing, right? But there's only one of them. And so it doesn't make sense for us to spend $3 in meds on that fish yet. So we kind of gather them up, and then uh, we can catch them out. And, like, if we want, if we have time today, we're going to catch that Odessa barb out put it with these other Odessa barbs, treat them all at the same time. And then there's other things like, you know, these giant Siamese algae here. So I was like, oh, geez, we just need to give these away to someone, get them a good home. Um, so yeah, hopefully these Anubias do okay with these uh, silver dollars. So far, they're probably scared enough. They haven't gone down to eat all this yet. So that's fortunate, but um, you can see here, we do run meds and things like that always in this water because so many fish are landing. So that's what all the bubbles are. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it is what it is. All right, well, thank you. I gotta get out there. They're, they're swamped and, you know, I got fish I gotta put away, so I gotta go. But thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Why not? Um, if you just want to fly solo, that's cool too. You can watch me from there. But thank you, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.